Hey guys, Todd here, Product Manager for SolidWorks at Hawk Ridge Systems. Let's take a look at an interesting new improvement to the filleting tool in SolidWorks 2015. So for today, my example here is a plastic part. So we're going to mold it. We've got lots of options for complex geometry uh, that may be required for ergonomics or aesthetics, something like that. And uh, for example, I have a standard circular fillet here. Um, to compare the two and let's take a look at how much more complex we can get with just a few clicks in 2015 with these fillets. Okay, so notice first of all the property manager. We got four buttons here for the constant and variable radius, face fillet, and full round like we always had, just a little bit easier to understand and get to. Um, if you remember, this is another good example of SolidWorks never just sitting back and cruising. If, uh, last year, if you're aware, in 2014, they added some really powerful stuff that allows us to do con conic shaped fillets directly to uh, an edge or between faces. Uh, this used to take a lot of uh, auxiliary operations um, with conic sketch elements and a lot of surface operations and trimming in order to get the uh, shape. You could do it. It just, you know, it took some doing. And uh, last year they introduced the conic row and radius here so we can get those type of fillets uh, without any of that extra work. So this year it's a little bit different. There's our standard circular fillet and so thinking about those improvements from last year, this year we can also now do asymmetric fillets. Okay, so what that's going to do is change up your inputs here. So now we've got two distances, think of it like a, like a chamfer, where it's going to have a radius value from both edges. Okay, so you can apply it directly or, or uh, in the uh, property manager. So I'll make it three quarters by a half inch. And if I want to go in the other direction, it's just an easy flip. Okay, but you can clearly see that the fillet takes up a lot more of this face here than it does on this downsloping face here. So again, that would take a lot of work in SolidWorks uh, to get that. You can go a little bit deeper. It's going to default to an elliptical profile, which is you know mathematically defined. If you want to still put in conic row, then you can you can take control, put in that value, and make it anything from a parabola, hyperbola, ellipse anything in between it's all in your hands so again just entering some numbers clicking a few boxes you get very complex geometry without much work okay now again you may let's switch to a face fillet here and sometimes we need that extra uh, smoothness uh, which is uh, done by curvature continuity and so uh, same thing here when we do a face fillet we have that extra option for curvature continuity Okay, we'll just set that, and there it is. You can see that shape is quite different from the standard circular here. And now we get those two distances, so it's easy to manipulate on the fly like that. And again, it's just very tricky geometry done extremely easily now. The great fillet tool, which has been in SolidWorks since day one, they just keep improving it, making it work better, making it fail less, giving you more power, more flexibility to do the things you do need to get your job done. So with that in mind, check this space often. We're going to be having lots of new features and uh, talking about what's new in 2015 leading up to our rollout events in October. Thanks for watching.